Shout out to the Nation Issue Girl, Deanna Diaz, business coach and entrepreneur. And today you are tuned in to the D Nation podcast, episode 28. Shout out to you all for being here. And today's episode is sponsored by none other than Tracy Thorpe Scott of TTS Coaching and Development LLC. Tracy, shout out to you. We thank you. Make sure y'all check her out. Y'all can check her out at tttstransforms.com. All right, let's go ahead and get into today's episode. So y'all know I already have three topics, the news, some how-to business, and some how-to entertainment. All right, so let's go ahead and get our topic number one, FIRE Part 2. The FIRE Festival was a highly publicized music festival that was supposed to take place in April 2017 in the Bahamas. It was promoted as a luxurious and exclusive event featuring popular music acts, gourmet dining, and lavish accommodations on a private island. However, the festival quickly became infamous for its failure and deception. The reality of the fire festival was far from what was advertised. Attendees who had paid thousands of dollars for tickets arrived to find inadequate infrastructure, substandard accommodations, and lack of basic necessities like food and water. Some of those videos was atrocious, were atrocious, excuse me. Y'all should go ahead and Google that when you get a chance. The event was a logistical disaster, and it eventually had to be canceled, leading to a chaotic and disappointing experience for the attendees. Now, these attendees were mostly teenagers, people in their early 20s. It was it was deep, y'all. So the fire festival's failure received widespread media attention and became a symbol of the dangers of overhyped and underplanned events as well as power of social media to amplify hype and deception. It also resulted in legal consequences for its organizers, including Billy McFarlane, who was sentenced to prison for wire fraud and other charges related to the festival. The Fire Festival was organized by Fire Media Incorporated, a company founded by entrepreneur Billy McFarlane and rapper Ja Rule, a.k.a. Jeffrey Atkins. Both McFarlane and Ja Rule were heavily involved in the planning and promotion of the festival. In 2018, entrepreneur and festival co-creator Billy McFarlane pleaded guilty to charges related to defrauding both festival investors and vendors. He ended up getting four years of prison time and owes roughly about $26 million to those defrauded. I don't even want to owe $10 to somebody, let alone $26 million, okay? But now McFarlane, who got out of prison last year, is back with plans for Fire Fest 2. Back at it again, he says. The first drop of pre-sale tickets for the event scheduled December 6, 2024, Caribbean Island, have sold out. A hundred went for about $500 a pop, according to the event website. And if you guys want to check out the event website, you can go to posh.vip. Is that a forward slash or backslash? I'm going to say forward slash E forward slash F-Y-R-E. And it surely is the first 100 tickets. One through 100 is sold out. The next batch of tickets go for $7.99, $11.99, $17.99, $26.99, $48.99, and $79.99. If I'm paying $7,999 to go to this festival, child, that festival better be off the chain. All right. You know why he had to do in the Caribbean, right? Because the people in the Middle East ain't having it. And you can't have it in the U.S. because, yeah, no, nah, it's not going to work out for you. So let's move on to our second topic of today. And that will be... Now let's get into our second topic of today, which is a how-to business how-to which is going to be about market trend analysis. So what is market trend analysis? Market trend analysis is a crucial aspect of business strategy that involves studying and interpreting patterns and shifts in the market to make informed decisions about your products, services, and overall business direction. It helps entrepreneurs and businesses stay competitive in anticipating changes in customer preferences, industry trends, and economic conditions. 
Here is a more detailed overview of market trend analysis. I got a couple points to go over, y'all. Make sure you got your notepad and your paper. If you don't, you go on dnds.com and the shop and buy your official D Nation notebook for your official D Nation notes, okay? Shameless plug. Let's continue. So number one, data collection. The first step in market trend analysis is collecting relevant data or data for you other people. This data can come from various sources, including market research surveys, customer feedback, industry reports, and competitor analysis and economic indicators. All right, y'all, you already know what to do. If you want to listen to the rest of that episode, you can click the link in the description bar below. That'll take you to all the D Nation podcast episodes and you can finish listening to this one and many others. Make sure you let me know what you think about this episode in the comment section down below and what you would like for me to talk about next. Y'all stay blessed and until next time, D Nation. Deanna Diaz, business coach, entrepreneur, aka your business bestie.